What's good? It's Postman, liveoffbeats.com. Uh, if you got beats on your hard drive, okay, if you got beats on your hard drive, as a music producer, you need to pay close attention to this video because it's going to be probably the most important video you ever watch in your life, okay? Um, now, if you got beats on your hard drive, whether it be saved on your computer or on your hard drive online, meaning like now the cloud thing, and it's not making you any money, then um, you're in trouble, okay? Because right now is the best time and the biggest opportunity for us as music producers to make money with our beats, right? But if it's just sitting on a hard drive collecting dust, it's not doing us any good. You know how many producers I meet? They're like, yo, man, I got, I got beats, man. I got beats. Said, Where are they at? Where they're on my hard drive. Well, what are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? It, should be, it ain't going to collect no money on your hard drive, right? Is, is somebody getting you a, a check because some beats is on your hard drive? And now the new thing is uploading it to the cloud, right? So now you got on your beat stars or your Airbed or on SoundCloud or on YouTube. But that's just an online hard drive. So now instead of having it just on an external hard drive, you got it on an online hard drive. But it's just sitting there collecting dust. You know, why would your beats be sitting there collecting dust when they should be collecting cash for you? See, you got to look at beats almost like, like your own little salesman, your own little employees, right? And they go out there and work hard for you and make money for you, right? So, like, I got, just got a royalty check this last, uh, yesterday, from this past quarter, um, from ASCAP. And that's because my beats are being played on TV film, but they out there working for me. They on TV, they out there bringing me money, you know what I'm saying? Whereas you've been trained to, you've been trained to work for your money. That's the difference, you going out every day. It's so funny because you going out every day. <laughs> you going out every day, going to work hard, right? You working hard, you know, five days, six days a week. You get a little check at the end of the week, right? You physically working for your money while your beach is sitting at home chilling. They relaxing, drinking Coca-Cola with their feet up, you know, chilling. Ain't doing no work. While you doing all the work, your beach is sitting there. And you, you do all that hard work to come home and barely make the money you should be making. You know, you ain't making the money you should make for the effort you put in, Right? And your beast chilling there, not making nothing. They got they live rent free. In fact, you probably if you you got a beast stars or air bit, you paying for them to to uh, sit there. You know what I'm saying? Living rent free. Not my beats. I got them out there making me money. They should be online making you money. They should be on your beast stars making you money or your air bit, whatever you got. They should be on YouTube making you money. They should be everywhere out there working day in and day out, 24 seven. 365 making you money. And if they not, that means you've been programmed to go work for your money. And you still can't get over that. You can't get over the fact that you've been taught to work hard for money. Go, you know, no, 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 no. Listen, fuck all of that bullshit. And I said just like that. It's bullshit. You know, we're music producers and we got beats that's in demand right now. I mean, the most, the, the thing that's in most demand right now is music, is music production. Just look at Netflix, look at Amazon Prime movies and TVs and originals and HBO and Hulu originals. They all need music in their shows, original music. And they all need producers to produce that music. They need, I mean, come on, look at how many independent artists there are online right now that, that, that got Spotify's and, and Apple Music and titles. And they're like, yo, I'm ready to do this. Independent tours and, and they got United Masters, all these independent artists reaching their fan bases. They, they need beats because without the music, Right. Without the music, they're not going to be able to have no fans. They can't be a music artist. So they need beats that they can purchase, but at an affordable rate because they're not Jay-Z. They're not Drake. They can't afford 10, 20,000 for a track, but they could lease a track for 50, 100 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you got to look at it. This thing is in demand strong, but you got your beats just sitting there. Right. My beats is working hard 24, 7, 365. And guess what? They never get tired. Could you imagine having an employee that never gets tired, that loves to work, they love to go out there and make you money, and they don't never get tired, never need sleep, they don't never need no break, they don't never need no damn days off, ain't no sick day out there working 24-7. That's what your beat should be doing. Every beat on your hard drive is an employee out there that can go out there and bring you some money. But guess what you're doing? You're saying, man, you, you chill right here. You sit right here. I'm going to go work hard. Just one of me, I'm going to go work hard for this little check. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to come back. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to make some more of y'all just sit there and do nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, do nothing ass beats. Ain't nothing worse than, than do nothing ass beats. They just sit there. They fire. They banging. They ready to be out there blessing the world. And they just sitting there rotting. It disgusts me to even think that there's beats being wasted like that. 
when there's artists out there who need them. There's there's TV shows that need them. There's there's all type that need those beats and they just sitting there rotting on your hard drive, man. You developed all this skill. It makes no freaking sense to me. Why would you do that? I know why you do it. Because you don't know. You don't know that you need a marketing system, okay? A marketing online marketing system to go with the beats. And that's all you're missing. See, what you're doing is you're hitting people up on Instagram, Twitter, or, or social media, Facebook posts, and stuff like that, and wondering why. See, why can I get consistent sales? Why can't I? Why is it not like I see these other producers making all this money, and you get frustrated. You upload your beats to YouTube or whatever you're doing, but it's not giving you consistent results. And the reason why is because it's not done in a systematic way. Listen, if I hit people up on Twitter, right? manually yeah i may get a sale i may get a sale or two but it takes so much effort to do that that i can't continually sustain that and guess what i'm doing i'm still working for money i'm having to give forth effort in exchange to try to get a couple dollars and the worst thing about it is nothing worse than working doing all that effort to get a you got to deal with bs artists who not you know they oh yeah i'm gonna holler at you i'm gonna get that and then you don't hear from them again you know and then you go through all that to finally get a sale and it's for $35? Why would you do that? Right? And then that's how you get disheartened. You go, okay, then maybe somebody buys an exclusive for 100 bucks, but it's not consistent. It's not consistent because it's not a system. If it's not a system, it's not sustainable. Okay, let me try this again, producers. Listen to me. You listen to me good. If it's not a system, it's not sustainable. And that's your problem. Okay, that's your problem. So let me make it clear. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right now, you see me on this video, right? You see me talking on this video. While I'm recording this video, okay, I got Facebook ads going out right now. They're, right now, they're working hard for me. And those ads are going to artists. And it's saying, hey, are you an R&B artist? Facebook is finding those R&B artists and saying, hey, download a free beat. While we're talking, this is happening to tens of thousands of artists being shown to right now. And they click it and they're signing up for an email list, my email list right now. And so as we speak, an artist just signed up to my email list. And as we speak, there are emails going out for the next six months that's going to be asking them, hey, do you want to purchase this beat? Hey, I got a new R&B beat for you. They're going to be selling my beats for me. So all that's happening without me having to lift a finger. When I go to sleep tonight, it's still going to be happening. And these ads are going out all over the world. Okay? When I go take a crap in the bathroom, guess what? It's still happening. I have YouTube ads that are going out right now. Okay? As I'm recording this and they're asking artists, I'm giving away beats and I'm giving away some other stuff in exchange for their name and email address. Okay? And all I'm saying is, can you enter your name and email and you get the stuff for free? And then they're going to go on a list and automatically that's already preloaded up. They're going to be getting emails asking them to purchase some beats in the future. It's happening automatically. It's a system. And it's happening even while I sleep 24-7, 365. It never gets tired. I also have organic beats on YouTube that have gotten ranked and are getting ranked. And they're getting views right now as we speak. And I have other videos getting views as we speak. And people and producers... I mean, I produce, excuse me, and artists are buying beats as we speak because they're organically finding it on YouTube. So all those things are working right now while I'm sitting here recording this video. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't have those same systems, that's why you're not making the money you want to make. Where the other producers that I, I consult with that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, hundreds, tens of thousands of dollars per month. I've seen the numbers. I've seen the receipts. In beat sales, I've seen their beat player and they pull up the numbers. I'm like, oh, snap, they're making bread. They have these same systems in place. So it's not that any a producer is better than you. They're not smarter than you. They have the system set up and you don't have them set up. Does that make sense? That's the only difference. So the life of your dreams as a music producer, selling beats online and all that stuff, is not because you're not intelligent enough, not because you aren't working hard enough. It's not because your beats aren't good enough. It's because you don't have the same system set up. And that's all it is. And when you understand that, you realize, okay, what's the most important thing for me to do in my life? Is it to make another beat? Is it to go to work? 
Is it to go buy some sounds? Is it to go hang with my homies? Or is the most important thing for me to do in life right now is to figure out and learn these systems and apply them. Because if you apply those same systems, you'll get the same results and you'll get freedom to do what you love to do. So now you have the freedom to go and make music. Like right now, I can turn this off, load up my, my reason and make a banger. And guess what? My systems are still working. So it doesn't matter what I'm physically doing. It's still working. You get it? Does that make sense? Is it clicking now for you? It doesn't matter what you're physically doing. See, you're trained to physically work. So your money, your, you have made a connection your whole life since you were a kid. Go to, go to school, go to college, get a good job. Go to school, get a college, get a good job. Go to school. So that's been ingrained into your subconscious mind your entire life. Okay? Your entire life. And now the world has changed significantly to the point where the jobs are going away. And the people who make the money, the way they make money is to find your talent and gift. And share that online and sell it in exchange for money. And not only that, you can do it and make more money in one week than you were going to make in an entire month or an entire year at your job working every day, 40 days, I mean, 40 hours a week plus. Okay? So now, right now, you're going to go to work either today, tomorrow, next day. And my systems are going to be working for me while you go and work for your job. So you're going to bring home a check. I'm bringing home cash right now. My beach is out there working for me. That's what you're missing. And it's not because you're dumb. It's because you weren't taught. Right. So that's what we're dealing with is what we were programmed to do. So I'm going to give you some things that you need to have systems that you need to have in place so you can then live the life of your dreams. Why do I say that? Is that a selling point, Postman? Are you gassing me up? No, because there's something in your head that you dream about doing. Whether it's being in the studio all day and making beats and music that you love, whether it's working with art that you love, whether it's seeing your name in light, it's something you're dreaming about. And you going to work 40 hours a day is stopping you from doing it because you're too tired. You don't have the time, energy or the money to do what you want to do. So that's why I say live your dreams. That's the point of it is to have a dream in your head and then go out and be able to live that. Right. And my job. What I meditate on and what my one of one of my purposes is to help you unlock your dreams by teaching you how to make a sustainable income from what your talent and gift is, which is music production, which happens to be my talent, gift and passion as well. So now I'm showing you how to do that through systems and marketing. I used to work a job. OK, now, if you like working and you say, hey, man, I love this. I love I don't want to be a producer. I'm a hobbyist. Fine. Cut this off. This ain't for you. You a hobbyist. You somebody that ain't going to live off beat. You ain't worried about it. But if you like, hey, I hate working. See, I hated working. I, I, and I used to work for Pepsi. Right. I haven't worked in like fucking 13 years. Right. 14 years. But when I did work, I used to work for Pepsi. Right. One of my first jobs. It was actually my third job. I was 18 years. Old. I worked for PepsiCo. And I was a merchandiser, so I would go to the different stores. Now, get this. I would drive 50 miles. I had to be at work at 5 in the morning. Not had to leave for work, not wake up. I had to be in the store at work at 5 a.m. And it was 50 miles from my house. So I had to be up by 3 o'clock, 3.30 to 3.45 in the morning was the time I had to wake up. Now, as a side note, I don't know if you ever had a job that you had to wake up that early. You don't get used to it. There's no day your alarm clock goes off at 3.30. You're like, damn, whew, I feel rested. I feel good. Like, you never get used to it. Even if you do it for a year, every single day you wake up is a pain in the ass. You're like, oh, God, it's early. can I just sleep for another hour? Like, you never get used to waking up at 3.30 in the morning, okay? You can get used to waking up at 5 in the morning, but you don't get used to waking up at 3.30 in the morning, okay? So I would go to work, do a tw- and if anybody working in the beverage industry know what I'm talking about. You're not doing no eight hour days. You're doing 10 to 12 hour days every day. If it's summertime, you may even pull out a 14 hour day. You're doing 10 to 12 hours every day. So I would get off, drive 50 miles back home in bumper to bumper traffic and go right to the studio. OK, and I would be in the studio all night until about 2.30 in the morning, 2.45 in the morning. Go back home, change my clothes, 
hop in the shower, put on my, my uh, next uniform, pop a no-dose pill, and go back to work with no sleep. Get off of work, another 12-hour shift, hard shift, drive back to the studio, pop another no-dose pill, go back to work off two days, no sleep. I was doing it to the point one day I fell asleep. At, I, I was so tired, I fell asleep at the light. Like, I literally, people hung, I'm just knocked out, I'm so tired. And I wasn't even making money as a producer. I was doing it out of pure passion and love. I just loved to do music. It was, I, I saw no career in it. I just, I just said I loved doing music that much. And I ended up changing that job because it was too strenuous to try to do that. I changed jobs. I ended up working at Target Warehouse stacking boxes every day. I stacked boxes every single day for 10 hours a day filling up a truck at Target Distribution Center. And literally, you got four trucks, and you literally take heavy-ass boxes and stack them on top of each other. I mean, you want to talk about mindless work. I'm talking about, it, like, you can't eat, like, there's no thought in this at all. Like, I'm literally a robot, right? And you're so tired when you get off work that you literally just sleep for, like, 10 hours, right? You just, like, sleep. Cause, and the shift was a horrible shift. It was, like, from 4.30 to, like, 3.30 in the morning. Okay, some shit like that. So it was like a terrible shift hour. Now, I ended up, I was still going to the studio, still making music, but I'm like, yo, I don't know how long I could take this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I, I can't keep doing this. I just knew that there was something bigger for my life. I, I love music, I love it, but I just, I couldn't figure it out. It was no, it was no air bit, it was no selling me, it was no live off beats, you know what I'm saying? All that shit didn't exist. I was online, but I was, you know, still learning. Like, we were still trying to figure this out in terms of how to make money. And so I ended up getting fired from the Target warehouse, right? And, you know, end up, you know, had to throw a couple nuggets, you know, just a couple one, two, nothing major. You know, I'm not a big fighter, no, you know, big tough guy, but it was a guy at the job who, for whatever reason, you know, he had an issue with me. And he was, you know, started tap, yapping out, doing the, you know, yap yap stuff. And, you know, he kind of physically, I felt like he brushed up against me. I physically touched me. It was some type of thing. I felt he got a little too close and it was, you know, dangerous. So, you know, I had to touch him up a little bit, nothing major, just, you know, give him a little two piece, you know, put him out for a quick. And um, because of that, I was fired. I mean, immediately they walked, they took calls of security and walked me out of the place and said, don't ever come back. So I never came back. So I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? Just so happened, I was producing and shout out to F Major. Shout out to F Major. If y'all don't know F Major, I think he has a channel. Shout out to F Major. He works at Native Instruments, you know, he, he works, you know, uh, does a lot of good work with Native Instruments, you know, um, and uh, F Major, who's a dope-ass producer, we actually had collabed on a beat, so he was still in his college dorm room at the time, and we had collabed on some music, you know, as just producers, we met on the internet, this is way back in the day, and 2004, or something like 2005, and uh, we ended up collabing on the beat, so I had another partner who was like, yo, there's a guy looking for some beats, and I'm like, Okay, like, what's up? You know, I had never really sold beats like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, okay, what's going on? So I, I, we met up with the guy. He was like a drug dealer or something like that. So we go to his apartment, you know, and, um, you know, it's hectic in there because something's happening out of town, you know. So I really didn't get a great listening session. It's like, you know, when you're like, you're like okay, let's play the beat. I bring the beat CD. I played it. Um, and he's like all over, he's not even paid, he's like, something's going frantic, you know, out in Atlanta with his drug moves, and something's happening, so he's on the phones, and he's cussing somebody out, so even amidst all that, he's like, man, look, just give me them two beats, and I'm like, okay, well, how much, and I'm thinking like, you know, 30, 40 bucks, I never, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, I don't know how much this shit is worth, like, I'm just, got beats, he's like, oh, I'll give you 700, 700 a beat, 700 a beat, what you mean? Yeah, yeah, give me that beat right now, and then um, come back and uh, bring the other beat. I'll give you 700 right now, and then um, um, uh, bring me the tracks for the other beat, and then I'll give you another 700. So I'm like, okay, what? For a beat? And so he gave me the cash, and like a stand-up guy, I, I called F-Major and said, hey, F-Major, one of the beats that we, we collabed on, this dude bought. So, you know, I went and broke him off, gave him, you know, a couple hundred bucks. And uh, I think he said that was the first money he ever made from Beats, too. I don't know. I think he, I did hear him say that. I could be wrong, but I think he did say that that was the first money he ever made from Beats himself. You know what I'm saying? When I came and brought him that bread. You know, I didn't have to. I could have just act like nothing happened. But, you know, I'm a stand-up guy. Do good business. So I came back, get, chipped him off a couple hundred, his portion of, of the sale. The guy who brought me the sale, I gave him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little finder's fee. 
And, um, but I thought to myself, I said, for, you know, because at the time I had seven. Now, he, he, he later on brought him a different beat and he gave me another 700. But at the time, I left out of the house with $700 in my pocket. And I'm like, wait a minute. He just paid me $700. And I literally had to work damn near two weeks of hard labor. And I was making four. I get a check for $416 at the end of the week. I got paid four hundred and sixteen dollars as a tax. Four hundred and in fact, it's four hundred thirteen eighty-seven. So I was four hundred thirteen dollars eighty-seven cent after hard labor of stacking boxes from the, the front of the truck to the back of the truck. I left with four hundred dollars and thirteen cent. This man just gave me seven hundred dollars. I'm getting and, I, and, and in my hand. So that that I'm like, whoa! That changed my whole life because I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I'm pursuing the wrong thing. And so let, I, I got online. I'm like, okay, we gotta sell beats. And then so I started to learn. I ended up finding Jermaine. Long story short, I found Jermaine, and he was a piano player who was became a millionaire selling this stuff on the internet. So I'm like, well, let's learn how to market from there. Started using those tactics to market my beats. And then I became a top producer on the internet. And our producer was asking me, yo, what are you doing? What are your tactics? So then Live Off Beats was born. And I will say this. The worst thing I ever did in my life was work a job. The best thing I ever did was get fired and decide I'm never going to work again and make the investment with Jermaine to learn how to market and build marketing systems around whatever it is that I was selling. So if I'm selling beats, I need to have the marketing system around it, right? And so, but what I didn't realize at the time too was that when you have a calling, we have a talent, we have a gift. See, we were at the beginning because there was no air bits and stuff. But when you have a gift, and you pursue it with all your heart, it's going to work out. And if you don't pursue it, things always seem to just not really be going for you. And in today's time, where we're at right now, if you're not pursuing your dreams, you're going to be screwed because jobs is going away. They about to take Uber. Tesla about to take Uber out. I don't know if y'all heard it. Tesla was like, they got automated. They got, they, they got, in 2020, they said they're they going to have automated cars where you don't even need a driver. And if you own a Tesla, your car go out and work for you. It, it, automated with no driver, go out and pick people up and, and bring in, in, in the car, come back at a certain time and you collect the money. I mean, it's a different world. So you got to take your talents and your gifts as a music producer and say, I'm going to make money with that. But here's the beauty of it. It's a good thing because when you trade your time for money, when I was working every day, when I was working a job every day, I was capped at how much money I could make. The only way I could make more money was to, to do more work. So I had to do overtime. And I was even more tired. I was even more stressed out. Right. And it still it wasn't enough to really make to live my dreams and make ends meet. Like I still had to use credit to buy, you know, equipment and stuff like that. I still wasn't, you know, making that much money. You know what I'm saying? Fourteen hundred, four hundred dollars a week. So then, if you add that to you know extra two hours of overtime, three hours of overtime, I probably made like four forty, right? Think about what I'm saying. So now, online selling your beats, there's no limit. You got producers making tens of thousands of dollars because it's not you physically working. So literally, it's going to be a producer real soon to make to to break the one million dollar in a year selling beats online that's coming and why not you why not me i'm working on it but why not you they said the four minute mile couldn't be broken they said the four minute mile could not be broken until roger Bannister did it and he broke it and then everybody else started breaking them because we limited up here and so in your music production being beat selling it don't matter how much you struggle in the pack you had the wrong systems and so that's why I created the ultimate beat selling blueprint. I said, okay, what could I do that even a six-year-old producer could follow this blueprint and they would make money and be able to build this and be successful and live their dreams as a music producer, even a six-year-old. So I said, you know what? I can't teach theory. I can't teach. Here's how I said, I got to show you on my screen. Here's how you see me drag it, click it, set it up, copy these settings. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. And this is how you set up email systems, advertising, Facebook. Here's how you find big fish, right? Big fish meaning that somebody who works at a big company, a big publishing company, TV film company, they they're have a high position, they can do big deals with you. Somebody that can pay you five, six figures for a deal for your music, for your beats, 
right, are in a position to make you to make five or six figures because they work for, a, like I said, TV film company, production company, publishing company, whatever. Those are the people you want to be networking with. I show you how to find those people on my screen. Like we're not trying to guess. I'm just showing you how to do it and how to set up Facebook ads, how to set up YouTube so you can get ranked, how to get YouTube ads so you, they can go out and you can steal other producers' customers, right? And I mean, like, so if they're looking for a Drake type beat and this guy's getting all the customers, you're gonna jump in front of that and get their customers, right? How to use Facebook ads to find your customers like crazy, you know what I'm saying? At pennies on the dollar, you know what I'm saying? So, and if you've used these platforms before to not, to, and didn't have success, that's because you didn't have a formula. So like I, I'm literally giving you the formula on how to do it. I used to work a job with another difference. Now you got to have your beats out there making money for you. Like I said, I just got a royalty check yesterday. And it's direct deposit on bank account because my beats out there working hard. They were selling online with their licensing. You know what I'm saying? Making that money on the internet. Are they on, on uh, uh, in, in TV film libraries making money that way? Whether you're doing a major placement thing, your beats should be making money for you. If you got beats sitting around living rent free, I mean, you crazy. Your beach sitting around living rent free while you working hard every day, coming home. Woo! I'm tired. You got all these beach sitting there chilling. Are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the now, if you have the ultimate beach selling blueprint, I want you to comment down there and let, let the other producers know how dope that shit is because they uh, the results are phenomenal. These producers are getting the emails I'm getting from producers that's changing their lives and the amount of money they're making and getting ranked on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Crazy. And so if you don't have it. That's because you just probably bullshitting yourself, man. I know what bullshitting myself is like. I, I, I done did that before. In fact, I was bullshitting myself up until a month ago with my health and fitness. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you ain't got those be selling blueprint, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I'm just full of shit right now. And you may not be full of shit for the rest of your life, but right now you full of shit. And, I, and, and if you look at me now, I lost some weight. I'm still not, you know, down, I'm still too big, but I lost some weight. If you look at my videos two months ago, I was a big tub of butter. And I kept telling myself, I need to get back in shape. I'm going to get healthy. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wasn't putting my time, energy, and money towards doing it. I wasn't buying no books and no courses on how to eat right and how to exercise. I wasn't going to the gym. I didn't have a gym membership. I, didn't, I wasn't investing in a personal trend. I wanted none of that. So a month ago, I made the decision to stop bullshitting myself. And I'm ready to live because ultimately, nothing's going to change until I change it. So until you change it and do something different, it's going to be the same. So I changed my diet. I got a personal trainer now. We could do hard workouts, you know, so I can get back in the ring, you know what I'm saying? Put these nuggets out there. So we doing hard boxing workouts, eating right. I'm taking Epsom salt baths. You know, I'm just doing, you know, because I quit BSing myself. I'm learning, reading books and audio books on health, on, on what to eat and different herbs. Like I'm really taking it serious, you know, and I was B, and I would always tell my family and tell me, like, yo, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going I'm to I'm get back in shape. And then I remember I had a homeboy. You know, and, and he a good friend, man, because I was in the car saying that same bullshit. This is like maybe a week, a month and a half ago. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, we pulling up at McDonald's. I'm about to eat the fries. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting some salty ass fries. And I'm like, yeah, man, you know, you know, I used to be a boxer or whatever. Through the I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I'm going to get in shape. though. I'm going to get back to it. And he was like, man, why don't you just fucking do it? Like, what are you fucking sitting here telling me about this shit for? About what you used to do, what you going to do? Why don't you just do it? I'm like. Shit, why don't I just do it? Like, I'm, I've been bull, cause I'm sitting there bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? Saying what I'm going to do in the future and all that kind of stuff. So I jumped up and I said, I'm going to do it. And I just made the change and I see the results now. I'm healthier. I feel better. I don't drink no coffee. You know what I'm saying? Now, this ain't a health and fitness video. I'm just giving you as an example. If you have a, a dream as a music producer, I want to make money. I want to sell beats. I want to have systems. I want to quit my job. All those things you keep saying you want to do one day. If you're doing the same things. With the same knowledge, okay, you're going to get the same results in the future. But if you do something different now, today, see, by law, the butterfly effect, by law, if you do something different, if you learn something new and do something different now, tomorrow has to be different. But if you do the same thing under the same knowledge, you're going to get the same result. Man, that's called insanity. 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 So what I want you to do, you got to go get this ultimate be selling blueprint. And it was a four week intensive course showing you it's over 12 hours of step by step video and you don't have to watch it all in one day and you don't have to learn. It's not a classroom. It's showing you how to do specific things in your music production business so you can set these systems up so you make your money 24 seven in your sleep. And 
I had consulted before I did this. I had consulted with 46 producers personally. Online producers, some of which who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars per year selling just selling beats online. And I know verify because I every single cons- person I consulted, I made I made them show me their their beat stars or their Airbit account. We went through it and you know, because I had they wanted to get to that next level. Like, what should they be doing? You know what I'm saying? And so I had these clients and I noticed that the clients that were doing successfully selling beats every day and having a living, they were doing things that the other producers were not doing that were struggling. And it wasn't that they were smarter. Like I said, it was just that they, they were using these systems and the other producers weren't. That's all it is. If you have these systems and apply it, you will get the results. It's no way you cannot get the results, right? That's the way that it works. And if you don't know it, you'll get, have the same results over and over. Your life will be one big ball of shitty results for the rest of your goddamn life. And guess what? Life is short. Even though we think it's long, it's short. It seems like 50 and 60 and 70 is a long way away. It ain't. Okay? And if you keep doing the same thing today, you're going to be struggling the same way next week, next month, next year, next decade. But why do that? Right now, you can make a change. Get the open be selling blueprint. You know what I'm saying? It's dope shit. It's the best course I've ever done because it ain't just a course. It ain't just learning. And we got some great bonuses for you. So if you go over there, go to liveoffbeats.com slash B. I'll put the link right there. It ain't just learning, you know what I'm saying? You've also got some bonuses, great drum kits that help you make dope beats, loop packs. We got drum loops. We got You get a lot of different bonuses, and we having a special right now, so you can get it on special if you get it right now. Now, if you wait, you know, the special price is going to go away. You have to pay full price, and, you know, you keep it 100. The knowledge you get in this shit, if I was teaching the business world the same information, I could charge them five, ten thousand. They'd be happy because they know they're going to make a bunch of money with it. You know, I know you don't have that type of income. My, 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 listen, my purpose, one of my purposes that I know from the divine creator is to help music producers be able to express themselves and live off their music. That's why I'm a music producer. I came through the same systems that you came through, same struggles. And now I'm sharing that back with you. My job is to give you the knowledge and information on how to live off your beats and your music and your dreams so you can create music and bless the world. Your job is to get that knowledge and apply it. So I'm doing my job. Are you doing your job? Or are you just going to work doing that job, being a slave and doing, you know, like I was, I was a mindless fucking zombie. Okay. And here's the craziest part. I actually, when I was 17 and a half, because I graduated at 17. Okay. I, would, I literally spent money going to community college, okay? Now, if you know me, you know I, don't, I never went to university. I had no degrees, no shit like that, okay? None of that goofy shit. I'm a music producer, straight up. So, you know, they ain't got no music production classes, you know? So, but I, I didn't know what I was going to do in my life. So, I was 17 and a half. I'm like, okay, people going to community college. I mean, I literally was on a bus, and I was like, where the fuck am I going? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm out of high school. I was going to high school every day. What am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? My sister went on to university, living her life, living her best life. My dad, you know, he was doing his thing, working, and, you know, he had created a new family. And so I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with my life now? You know? And I went to community college, and this is how ignorant I was, and this is how ignorant most people are. You know, I, I went and, like, okay, let me go to community college. So, they, you know, it cost me a couple hundred bucks that I didn't have. I think I asked my mom for the money. So I paid a couple hundred bucks to take these classes. So I'm like, okay, what should I take? Well, I'm like, well, what kind of music shit they got? And I'm like, well... You got to first take these general education, you know, if, in order to get a degree. So I'm like, okay, well, let me take some of these general eds. I went to talk to the counselor. So I, I go and I'm like, okay, what, what are the general education classes? So I get there like, okay, one of the classes you got to take is art appreciation. So I go, I spend money on this class. I go into the class and like literally the class is about like art appreciation. So they're showing me these paintings by like Michelangelo and shit. And they have like, okay, this sunlight, he painted the sunlight coming through the window at the left shadow. What does that mean to society? And it means that the rebels and revolutionary, I'm like, yo, bro, listen, I don't give a fuck what it means. Cause I don't care. Like I'm trying to make music. Like I don't give a fuck about this shit. Why am I paying to learn some shit that ain't got nothing to do with what I want to do in life? Like, there's some people who legitimately love art, they love that stuff, and that's cool. It was people in the class like that. But I'm paying to learn something I could give two shits about. But yet, I wasn't spending money learning what it is that I would actually could use to make my life better. 
And that's how a lot of producers are. Like, they, they don't got to be selling blueprint. They won't spend money on that, but then they'll go spend money on, at some classes. They got college degrees and all kind of goofy shit that ain't got nothing to do with what they want to do in life. That's how we train. I remember taking a math class. Man, it was an Asian lady. And the math was hard because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this is. She's on a board doing all type of problems and solving and algebraic shit. I mean, they're like, yo, first of all, I don't even understand what the lady's saying. You know what I'm saying? Because she had a heavy accent. Let alone, like, what am I doing here? Like, what does it have to do with me living off my music and being a producer? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just had nothing to do with that. But that's where my money, my time, energy, and money was going to places that had nothing to do with what I was trying to do in life. I don't make that mistake now, but back then I was making that mistake because I didn't know any better because all I heard was go to school, get a college, you know, get a college and you go to college. You don't learn anything really towards what you're trying to do in life. You know what I'm saying? But then here's a time where you can invest in something that's going to actually make a difference. And you got to think about it. You know how crazy that is? Like you have to sit there and like, well, should I get those and be selling blueprint? You know what I'm saying? Oh, this shit really going to work, man. Oh man, it costs this amount. You know, you know how fucking ignorant that is? It's like, yo. It don't matter. Like you going like it's like me not wanting to get my personal trainer and not wanting to invest in the healthy food and learn the course stuff. And I'm talking about I want to be healthy. What kind of stupid shit is that? You know, but that's how we live because we're trained that way. It's fucking stupid. Right? I'm sitting there talking I want to be healthy, and I'm like, man, I ain't I ain't gonna invest in that health product and them health courses. I ain't gonna get a personal trainer. I don't go to the gym. So I do that, and then thinking one day I'm gonna just fucking wake up skinny. And wake up skinny and healthy. Now my fat ass was going to wake up even fatter than I was three months ago. That was a big tub of fucking butter. Because that's what I was, that's what I was living like. And that's what I, my money, time, and energy was going to. It wasn't going to eating no goddamn spinach. It was going towards eating a fucking honey bun and, and goddamn donuts from Krispy Kreme. That's where my time, energy, and money was going. You understand what I'm saying? So I say, you know what? I want to have a different life. In, in, in three months, six months, I want to wake up in a different life. In a different body with different energy. So I had to stop first, make the investments in my knowledge and say, okay, well, how should I be eating? How should I be training? Right? So then I got the knowledge first, and then I started to apply those strategies because I had bad strategies, right? Obviously, eating Krispy Kreme is not gonna get me fucking healthy and skinny and fit. Just running on a treadmill ain't gonna get me in the shape that I wanna be in. So if that's the case, I had to learn the strategies of being healthy, of being fit. Of being really fit and having cardiovascular endurance, having energy throughout the day. I had to learn how to eat to have energy. I had to learn those strategies. So if you're saying, I want to be a music producer, I don't want to work a job, I want to actually live as a music producer who makes money, who has success, who's able to make exponential growth, then there are strategies you have to learn first, now, and then you apply those strategies. Now, where do you learn those strategies at? You don't go learn them in college, you don't learn them at Full Sail University, you learn them at Live Off Beats, you learn them at liveoffbeats.com slash B with the ultimate beat selling blueprint. That's where you learn it at. Come on, man. What is wrong with you? Why are you still watching this video? You should be already like so motivated and inspired. You should be like clicking the link, downloading it right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I need to help me send a blueprint right now. You should be clicking that, downloading it right now. What the hell is you waiting on, man? What are you waiting on? Huh? You waiting on, I know what you're waiting on. You waiting on Jesus to come back. You been going to church, huh? You waiting on Jesus to come back? You're going to come back and then all of a sudden all your life going to be different. You gonna have a studio? No, 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 no. You wait on a meteor to hit your, your a meteorite to land near your house, then the energy automatically manifests all your your dream. And you gonna have a studio, you're gonna have clients, you're gonna be making music for a living, your bank account gonna after you waiting on, huh? Some goofy ass fantasy. Oh no, you can wait on a lottery. You think that you're gonna you gonna scratch off a ticket and all of a sudden you're gonna have all these millions in the bank. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on dumb shit, man. You know what I'm waiting on? Nothing. I don't wait on nothing, I go do it. Because I know that if I want a certain life, I got to go build that life. Starting with the knowledge, starting with the understanding, starting with a blueprint on somebody who already knows how to do it. Then I go and I say, okay, now I got to actually apply what I learned. So I had to learn how to, and put it back in health time, I had to learn how to eat. What's healthy, what's not healthy. I had to learn what exercises work for what parts of the body, what exercise regimen works for health and endurance and energy. And this is what doesn't work. And then I had to learn that first and I went and applied it. Now I got a trainer who trains me and, you know, we do workouts that I never even knew existed. You understand? So, so that's the process of being successful at anything in life. So if you, you want to be successful at, at music production, selling beats online, you try to have beats just sit there, kick their feet up, living rent free while you sit there and work hard. You know what I'm saying? Like a sucker. You working hard while all these motherfuckers' beats is living rent free on your hard drive. Man, you crazy? 
Man, you sound crazy, man. You be, I'd be damned if I got a bunch of beats just not making me no money. Sitting there, being hot and fire and banging and ain't, got, and ain't making a dime. And I'm out there sweating my ass off working 10 hours a day. You know, I mean, that don't make no goddamn sense. It only makes sense because that's the way you was trained. And I'm t- untraining your ass. That ain't the way life got to be. It's a new way of living. The internet then came and took over. You a producer. Live your dreams. But you just got to get that OB selling blueprint. You got to get it. I'm telling you, it's nothing like anything we've ever done, anything you've ever seen. It's the, the results have been crazy. Like, we put out courses since 2007. We've changed a lot of producers' lives. This course has given the most feedback from producers that's getting results, making money, that previously wasn't doing nothing. Like, we've never got this type of feedback like ever. I mean, because it's it, but it's because we the whole idea was that anybody who had beats on a hard drive could just follow along and do the steps. You just watch my screen. So it's not about learning. It's about watching my screen and just copying what's on the screen and you doing that and applying it to your music production business. Here's how to set it up. Here are the settings. Here's the ads to use. Here's the emails you write. Here's how to set it up. You get what I'm saying? So so that's what it's about, man. So ultimately, you know, it's up to you if you want to change your life, if you're going to continue the same thing over and over again, get the same results, or if you want to start right now and you want your tomorrow to be different. If you want to be successful, you want to wake up and, and tomorrow is completely different than it was yesterday, then it starts with the ultimate selling blueprint. This is the transformation you've been looking for. So what I want you to do, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to livewalkbeats.com slash B and just scroll down and download the OMB Sun Blueprint and get all the bonuses. And right now we have running a, 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 a great offer, an opportunity, so you can get it at an affordable rate and it's going to end soon. So do that. Get that right now. Much love. I'll see you soon. I want you to get this blueprint, though, because I'm telling you, it's, it's life-changing. It's the best thing that we've ever done. Best thing that I've ever put together. And it's changing more lives and producers' lives than anything else. I mean, you got to see the, the results. And hopefully some of the producers who got it will, you know, encourage some of you guys by posting, you know, some of your results and feedback on the, on the course. But much love to every producer out there. If you watch, I know I go hard on you. You know, you know, I just get in that spirit, man, because this is my purpose and passion and mission is to make sure you get up and live your dreams. And it's tough because the inertia is called inertia of all the bullshit training you've gotten since you were a kid. I'm trying to break through that because you're sitting there waiting for something to happen, waiting if I keep working and one day this is going to happen for me. It's not going to happen for you. It's going to happen the same way it's been happening. You don't realize it, okay? But you need something to intervene, someone, you know, someone to to get you off that path, you know, because you're, you're going on a path. You need something to knock you off and wake you up. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yo, oh, wait a minute. I splashed that water in your face like my friend did for me when I was sitting there talking about how I was going to get healthy and lose weight and do all this stuff. And I was just sitting there BSing. You know what I'm saying? And he was he's like, yo, why don't you just get your ass up and do it? Stop fucking telling me about it and talking about it. Just go do it. You know what I'm saying? And then it just like woke me up. So that's what I'm telling you. It's not going to ever happen for you in the future. It happens through right now making that decision. So down to ultimate beat selling blueprint. I love you. I can't wait to see your results. And it's, you're going to be able to look back at your life and say the pivotal moment. Like for me, I remember I can look back and see my pivotal moment was when Jermaine had nitty gritty marketing. And I got that course, even though I couldn't afford it. And I looked and I, I got that course and I went through and started learning Internet marketing, learning these different things of how to advertise, how to market, how to brand all these different things. And that's a pivotal point in my life that changed my life. So I never had to work again. Um, I started my first six figures I made, I think, at age 24, 23, no college education. That's the first year I made six figures. I think I was 24 or something like that. It's been so long now. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I think that's when I first broke the $10,000 in, a, in a, well, I actually made $10,000 in a day. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to get too much numbers. So I don't, it's, it don't sound unbelievable. But I got I, I screenshots up of money. I've been getting money for a long time on this internet. But, you know, like, that was a pivotal moment. And this will be that pivotal moment for you if you don't have it already. Um, then you need to, you know, you need to go get it and check it out and see. All right. Much love. See you on the other side. Can't wait to get your testimonial. Livewalkbeats.com slash B. Get that ultimate B selling blueprint. Much love. Peace.